The second red flag of bullying is commanding respect and not rewarding the commanded after respecting the commander. Have you ever heard that you get respect by respecting human authorities? But the truth is that that character building lesson is a myth. Human authorities expect perfection from pawn people by treating pawn people like slaves. Human authorities want their own dreams to come true without giving pawn people a positive future by human authorities' best decisions of political correctness and by non-sharing practices. Even though pawn people respected human authorities. After a pawn person was forced to trust a human authority figure blindly, a human authority figure deceives a pawn person and blind trust is like let's make a deal or like deal or no deal. I saw so many bad references by movies slash television real or fiction that pawn people got no respect or deaf after cooperating with human authorities. By studying that human authorities' behaviors are similar to criminals behaviors, the good crowd becomes the bad crowd. And according to Romans chapter 3 verse 23, we all have sinned to come short of God's glory. Once you give a person respect, that same person will never surrender his slash her pride. The third red flag of bullying is pro-discrimination actions. Human authorities discriminate by sex, by skin color, by ethnics, and slash or by age. There is usually age discrimination in reality and pro-parental rating actions are included in the discrimination against age. Pro-discrimination actions destroy fun and other positive opportunities. Human authorities want perfection according to human authorities' ways by pro-discrimination actions. Some human authorities use pro-discrimination actions as preferential treatment to some people. An example of preferential treatment is that community leaders like females in leotards more than males in leotards. Another example of 
preferential treatment is that producers do not censor the brands that they like. But that same producers censor the brands that they hate. Another example of preferential treatment is that law enforcement officials, civil or military, is getting so much praise and so much pride according to U.S. values. Even though law enforcement officials, civil or military, bully pawn people by threats, written or verbal, and slash or by raids, stealing from pawn people, kidnapping pawn people, and slash or killing pawn people, according to ridiculous law. And Donald Trump signed a federal Blue Lives Matter law as an executive order to give infinite invincibility to law enforcement officials. Whether pro-discrimination actions are legal or not, pro-discrimination actions are a form of hate. Pro-discrimination actions are selfish, thus non-sharing, and selfishness counts as murder. Thanks to pro-discrimination actions, victims of pro-discrimination actions will never get their respective harmless dreams to come true. Part 3 will continue next time.